everybody, this is Praxis, and today is a really notable day because today is the first day where I can actually do something on my own. In the past, I was just kind of like, I was cutting trees ahead of somebody else who could do it a lot better and faster than me. I was kind of clearing area ahead of an excavator that could do it a lot faster than me. But today is the first task that's actually entirely my task, and that is knocking all of these little uh, form uh, ties off of the foundation. These little metal things go between the uh, the foundation molds. I pointed them out in an earlier video to hold the molds together. But now they're sticking out from the sides of the concrete after the uh, mold forms have been removed and you have to knock those off. And a lot of them have this concrete around them. And I've got a little sledgehammer here. You can do it with a regular hammer as well. And the idea is you just kind of break off the concrete there and you give it a couple of taps. I'm going to do wimpy taps here. Like that. And it just breaks off. Another one here, you can usually get it off in like, you know, two or three. I'm kind of being a little bit, well, like I said, wimpy about it because there are so many of these things. You go all down the side, all around the thing, and after a while, it really gets into your forearm. We're also here today getting deliveries from, uh, of the foam that's gonna go up here. There's already one pile that got um, dropped up over here. There's a forklift doing runs up the street uh, right here. I can actually hear them starting to come down the, the road again and they are just delivering it one piece at a time. They could have maybe brought their truck up here, but they just, you know, didn't want to risk getting stuck in here. So they're just ferrying the stuff from the road um, up and down here and bringing it one pile at a time. I ordered about a hundred sheets of this four by eight foam and that's going to cover the whole face here. It's going to go all around the backside and it's going to be down on the inside underneath the slab to try to uh, retain some of the heat from the house, you know, with the wood stove uh, burning in the winter time, it'll help to retain some of that heat. So what I'm doing today is just knocking all these off. I've got some seal that I'm going to put on. It's not really technically necessary that I put seal all on this wall because this is going to be a subgrade wall. Seal is more, more you put on a wall where the other side of the wall is going into a living space. But I've got extra of it. I'm just going to run over the whole area. It'll fill in these areas where there is, uh, you know, these little metal nubs that are still left out here. It'll keep that from rusting into the wall and everything. So, and also we've got paint rollers. I think River's gonna have a, a fun time with, with hitting this whole, whole wall with tar. It'll also help to stick the, uh, the foam up to the, uh, up to the side there. So just coming over the cor uh, corner here, I think I can hear the, uh, the forklift coming up and they're gonna be delivering our next pile. We're almost here. There they are. Put it right next to the next one and we have a lot more of that where, uh, where this came from. There's a lot in the truck. Like I said, a hundred, hundred pieces. What are you doing over there? Making cement? Careful, don't let it blow into your eyes. These things are so nimble, they can spin around on three wheels. Well, we got two in this load river, twice as high. That's it. Thanks for watching.